Welcome to How to Minecraft 101 with Redstone. So as usual, I am in creative mode, but you can do this in survival mode as well. So today we are going to make a power track that works on its own. As you can see, I've clearly gone ahead and made a track. It's just a simple circular track, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you how it works. You put your cart here. It stops and it automatically goes on its own. So I actually didn't touch anything there. It stops and it goes on its own again. So, well, unless you hit a pig. <laughs> so you get the idea anyways. So we are going to actually build this today. Don't worry, it doesn't take a lot of skill. I put the redstone here, just or sorry, the glowstone, just so that I could see because I had originally been building at nighttime. So, all right, here we go. <clears throat> first things first, you want to have your, your um, stopping part, so like the station, on an incline. So I like to put a couple like that. You can even have it so that the other part goes underground and just dig a hole and put it under there. That works too, but whatever you'd like. So you're going to, first things first, put regular old track on the top. Now I'm going to make it come from here. So it's going to go this way. So we are going to put a detector track on that side and a powered rail on this side. Now, if a powered rail doesn't have any power to like deliver to it, it will actually stop your cart. So that's great. Cause that's what we wanted to do. Now we're going to actually get into some redstone here. So let's make this circuit work. So how we're going to do this, if the pig will get out of my way, excuse me, Mr. Pig. So we're going to dig a hole here like so. And you want to take some redstone and stick it there. And this is the detector track. Now, when your cart goes over this, it's going to send a signal. Ah, pig. You're going to become pork chops if you're not careful. All right. So this piece here is, or the detector rail, sorry, is sending a signal to this redstone. When you go over it, it's going to activate it. Now we don't want the cart to take off right away. We want it to have a delay. So we are going to put a repeater and we're going to put it on the farthest delay possible. And we'll put another one and we can put another one. Now, as far as how much delay you want, it depends on how long you want it to just sit still. But generally, I find that a couple of them should suffice. I mean, it's kind of like waiting for the subway at home, right? You know when you want to get on and off the subway and then you follow suit. So I generally just do this. Three going up, three on one side, and the redstone at the end, and redstone in the middle, connecting those to those. Now, it is good to keep in mind, too, that I was facing the direction I wanted them to be facing in. So if I tried to put the detector rail here and the activator rail, or sorry, the powered rail on the other side, this would not work. I would have to take these out and switch them and make them face the other way. Because it actually does make a difference. Here, I'll show you. So those are going that way. And if I were to put it in the other way, see, it faces completely different. So it doesn't actually work. So that would not work that way. All right. So you have the base of your track done. So next thing you want to do is build your track. Now, for simplicity's sake, we're just going to build a loop around just like I did on the other side there. So... The track could be built on any block, most of them anyways. You can't like build it on glowstone for some reason. But see, it won't actually let you for some reason. That's interesting, but that's okay. We don't want to build it on glowstone anyways. So you just want to build your track around. Now be careful how many power rails you're going to put near here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I personally like to go every so often. You want it to be fast, right? Because in Minecraft, you kind of want to get around a little bit faster. So I dig two squares down 
and put a redstone torch. Then you're going to come up here and put a block over top and put a powered rail on that block. If you did it right, it'll glow. See, if I put a powered rail here, it's not glowing. Over here it is glowing. If you did it right, there it will glow. And then you want to connect that with a regular track. What that's going to do is it's actually going to speed you up. Now, in all reality, you would likely have this moving forward down that way to an alternate station. But because we're not going to be building a huge train system, we are just going to go ahead and build it. Oopsie. Build it in a big circle. My bad. Didn't mean to fall in the hole. <laughs> Uh, we're good. <laughs> All right. I noticed also that the track seems to slow down around bends. So it's probably a good idea to put some powered rails around, especially if you're going to use the system to send the carts around when you're not in the cart. Then it's like a consistent subway system where it's never ending. You want to make sure that you put enough of those. Whoopsie. But you don't want to put too many either because if you put too many then when you get to the other end there it won't stop you're gonna to have to put more power drills to kind of keep it from going over yes speed does affect you here <laughs> so that's what you're just going to keep doing that every so often you're going to put a torch two squares down and a power rail on top of it Followed by a bunch of regular rails. No, you don't need a power rail there. That would work sim perfectly fine with just a regular rail. Or it should at least. So here we are. Here's our piece here. And we want to be careful how many powered rails we use here because you're going to make it go over the boundary. So there we go. We've connected it. And now we can try it out. It should in theory work how exactly how I made my other one it stops and it goes all right and it stops rock on guys so we have made this thing go ahead and work so that is really awesome I lost my cart <laughs> it's over there so as you see when I got out it slowed down here so you may want to add some more power drills and play with that if you're going to have it go on its own right and then after the fact, you want to take your gas or whatever flooring you have set up in your subway system. And you just want to cover, as always, your redstone. Cover it up. And honestly, this is a really neat way to impress your friends when you're playing Minecraft and say, hey, check this out. We can ride the subway to different areas and not have to get lost or whatever. So yeah. I do hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and of course if you wanted to continue on that way then what I like to do is keep this in a loop because then you can just ride it right for fun <laughs> and then just put a track here and then keep building it that way so you're gonna go like every so often build two under put the redstone torch cover it up so you can't see that on that side which is good powered rail and again the powered rails light up when you have that and then keep going and then once you have your second station down there you can get rid of that and just add that so then you'll have it going that way and of course you would have a different way coming back that way to connect it to but until you are able to do that it's just easier to connect it like that so yeah I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial on how to make a powered monorail or train station, subway station, with redstone. And stay tuned next time for how to make a fancy floor that lights up. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Take it easy.